Not, not too special, but this is her. We've been rocking for a year and like four months. Maybe a year, five months, somewhere around there. Nice. Still starting up, it's been set for two weeks. We're gonna do this pre-trip pre inspection. We're gonna go pick up that load. Yo, yo, yo. How's it going? make uh start making some more videos i made one so far i'm gonna try to keep consistent at it it's just been rough right now for us owner operators i'm pretty sure for everybody out there but um definitely for an operator i set my truck for two weeks just because the rates i just got tired of dealing with these brokers um so i set my trucks for two weeks turn this ac down I set my truck for two weeks because these brokers, um, I had, I got fed up when I had a load going from Las Vegas to California for 2000 bucks. It was a turnaround. It was at max weight. Um, and I had the load. It was a reefer load. I'm doing power only. So it was a reefer load. I signed the papers. Like, yeah, I want the load, let's do it. We locked it in, signed the papers. I'm waiting for them to dispatch me. And in the mix of them dispatching me, I give them a call back. And they go, oh, yeah, um, you know, that load's gone. You know, somebody else took it. So, you know, I know the tricks. They got it locked it in with me because it was last minute and they needed to get it off. And just my luck, somebody else called in after I didn't sign it, waiting for them to dispatch me. Somebody else took it for cheaper than what I was gonna take it for. And they gave it to them even though I'm committed to the load. So that just ticked me off because if, if it was vice versa, if I found that load and then I found a better load and I called or didn't even call them, I wait for them to call me and I let them know, oh yeah, I can't take that load because oh, you know, whatever, that'd be a bad marking on me. They, they wouldn't want to work with me anymore, which that's, you know, that's not fine, but that's fine because I don't have to work with them. So I'm not working the DAT board. You know, I'm paying $70 a month and there's no security on there. It's just everything's a money grab. These brokers are really hurting the industry. I know people are complaining about the fuel the fuel has something to do with it. Insurance is really, really hurting truckers, depending on where you're located. But insurance is number one, that's hurting you. If you're not moving, you know, I can see if I can call my insurance company, let them know, hey, I'm not moving my truck for two weeks. They should give me, they should slash whatever my full monthly bill in half or something. Um, but they're not even doing that. They're, I, I tried to get just Bob to just something to keep my authority active, and it was, it wasn't even two hundred dollars cheaper than what it would to have the full thing. Um, and insurance companies are just raping people. I mean, God forbid, knock on wood, I can, I can, be in this business for twenty years, paying over you know twenty four thousand a year and never get an accident, none of that money is gonna come back to me, which is, I think is a crime. Um, they're just stealing my money. And But anyways, I'm not talking about that. Fuel, insurance, then fuel, and then the brokers are hurting the industry, mostly the brokers, because especially TQL, I know if you're a new owner operator, like I was, a lot of owner operators not gonna mess with you until you get to that, uh, I think it's eight months or six months, somewhere around there. Um, some of them are even a year. But um, so TQL mess with you right when you get your authority. But, um, oh yeah, I gotta go to the store. But um, TQL is jipping you. 
big time, not little time. I mean, big, big time. You got to really hassle with them just to get a fair quote. And it's disgusting. Um, I don't like TQL. I deal with them for a little bit just because I didn't know any better, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there are going to deal with them because they don't know any better. Um, there's a lot of other low boards out there that are free that you can work with. Or the DAT board sometimes good, but you still got to hassle with these brokers. I just wish it was a way that um, these shippers can just go through the DAT board. What's the use of having a broker when the DAT board is a broker? Like, that is the broker. DAT board, the shippers should go to the DAT board, post your loads, and we can bid on it or we can it can be as is loads i'd rather do an as is load i'd rather for a, uh, a shipper or a consignee a person who needs some ship to them, i'm rather for them to post the load on there and say you know this is the price as is and then if truckers don't take it they can up the price or trucker take it like i'd rather deal with that than have to deal with a third party when we really don't need third parties sorry for brokers out there you know, I even thought about doing it. If you can't beat them, join them. But it's really, really hurting the industry, um, especially the new day and age with technology, with apps. Um, we really don't need a middleman. This is really hurting because that that broker is getting a low for, you know, from here to Vegas or from Vegas to California. They're probably getting that load for. Oh, I can't turn right there. Sorry, guys. They're probably getting that load for five thousand dollars, and they're trying to give me, uh, the carrier, fifteen hundred bucks of that until you talk and talk, cry and beg. Basically, you have to beg these brokers to get what you know you deserve to get two thousand dollars, maybe twenty five hundred. But that's the way they're playing it. It's a numbers game. 50, 50, 40, 60. But they're not starting out. You know, they starting out at 40, 60. And then you have to work your way just to try to get 50, 50. And I think that's very unfair. Um, yeah, it's just, I, I just don't understand. So right now we are doing, I'm not messing with the brokers right now because I wish Amazon was year round for uh, solo drivers, solo ones, solo twos. Because I would just do Amazon all day, I don't care. People say it's cheap freight and all that stuff. I'd rather deal with Amazon's cheap freight than anybody else's cheap freight. The only thing I don't like about Amazon is that you have to wait um, a week to get paid. So from this Monday to Sunday, or is it Saturday, Sunday to Saturday, so if I work Monday through Friday and I don't do loads Saturday and Sunday, I don't get paid until next Friday. So from this, so even if I did one load, I did a load just Monday to Tuesday and I finished that load and I didn't do any more loads for that week, that, that Friday I don't get paid, the following Friday I get paid. Which is a bummer because fuel, um, you know, that first week, Sometimes two weeks, you you have to either have the money saved up for the fuel costs, um, or you're gonna go into hold into the hole until that money starts generating in. So you know, every week you're doing loads, and then every Friday you're getting paid from the la the previous week. So it's just like you're getting paid every Friday. Um, I wish they can fix that up to where it's like instant pay. I drop it off. They see that at least. 24 hour pay you know the everything's computerized with them um it should just be bam 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 and not a whole week to do billing and processing and all that stuff um, i wish they had worked that out but we are doing amazon amazon for the next three we uh three months with well, two and a half months um i just like the system the only problem i have is the payment wish they paid me faster sooner um the pricing yeah pricing doesn't get better but there's all there's little there's some tricks and tips to doing amazon it all depends on what if you're working off their load board or if you're working off contracts um and you know amazon like i said 
I wish DAT board, one, two, three, low board, JB Hunt, JB Hunt's kind of, but um, I wish it was more like, okay, this is what it is. There ain't no bidding, nothing. Then if nobody take it, then they up it up a little bit. Okay, nobody took it, I'ma up it up a little bit more type deal instead of um, dealing with brokers. I'd rather deal with that than begging somebody who has no assets in the game you know no assets insurance is only four hundred dollars a month they're paying 200 bucks for uh the dat low board and you know their their insurance is secondary my insurance is primary but i have to split 50 50 with you just because the shippers would rather deal with you than deal with me directly or just deal with the da dat board type platform like why do brokers need it a separate they have their own dat board brokers too so brokers going to a low board they bid on loads from the shipper and then they win the bid and they put the bid on a dat board that the carriers can see and we bid like what's the point of doing that when they can just cut that out i'm just saying um but yeah, that's my rant that's why it's hard i've been doing this for a year and some months now and um, the first eight months of my authority was awesome. That's when it was booming. I had more money, not more money, but everything was good. I was liking it. Yes, I made more money, or I should say, I was able to save more money as a company driver than I was able to save as an owner operator. But the freedom is what I wanted. I, I didn't want um, a company running me for four weeks you know, three weeks and then I get four days home. Like I wanted to make it so I picked my lane. I can go out and be back in two, three days at home, finding another load when I get home and going back out, you know, doing it like that. But um, the market's tough, man. I don't know what, what um, who, who's ever in office. I don't understand what they're doing. They're hurting the people. Um, but uh, not getting political. We're gonna keep trucking. We're gonna keep rolling. Keep rolling. Let's go, keep rolling.